So this is a Luna Stella 400, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake. We'll demonstrate these to you in person here on site. In the front locker you have your two gas bottle tie downs with your gas regulator on the bulkhead. We do have the pipe work available here on the shrimp line site should you need it. It goes from the regulator to the gas bottles. On the side of the caravan, you'll find your two wind down legs. You'll see one on either side of the front of the caravan. So you've got one on this side and one on the opposite side in the same location. You'd never lift the caravan with these wind down legs. They are just there for stabilizing the caravan. Above that, you have your heating and hot water flue. The cover that I've just taken off, you need to make sure you remove before each time you ignite anything on gas inside of the caravan. Um, because essentially that does the same job as the flue on the side of your house. You've then got your water pump connection that drops down inside the aqua roll, as you can see. And to fit it into the side of the van, you pull back the blue trigger and release. Or to push it into the side of the van, pull the trigger back and push into the side of the caravan. They've got a 110 amp leisure battery here that we've just connected up so you can see everything is working correctly on the caravan. If you wish to buy a battery from us, they are £75 during the handover compared to a normal price of £110. Battery would normally sit in that box just there, or in that storage box just there, and it'd be clamped, uh, tied into place with the uh, string or the, the rope, sorry, that is, is on the caravan. You've then got your mains power lead that comes, uh, that connects to the mains power on site. Um, you'd always connect to the caravan, then turn the power on the post prior to connecting the power, so you wouldn't turn it in live, plug it in live essentially. On the side of the caravan, you've then got your wheels and the motor mover. The motor mover will demonstrate what you're here on site, and we'll also talk the wheel nuts to the correct manufacturer settings before you leave site with the van. Further back on the caravan, you've got your three waste, uh, waste water pipes. The fresh water that goes in the front has to come out somewhere, and that's what these three grey pipes are for on the side of the van. So you have three bits of pipe that push into the large diameter holes and they'll drop down inside the waste master. On the back of the caravan on either side you've got your wind down legs again to stabilise the van. And like I said at the front you wouldn't lift the caravan with these as it could potentially damage the floor. We then come to the toilet uh, locker. You've then got your neck, <coughs> you've got a neck here that pulls out. The cap removes and is actually a measure for the pink if you want to drain the tank off when it's in storage you can turn the uh, neck over and release the cap in there you need to put three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use and to release the toilet cassette you'll pull up the green handle at the bottom and pull the cassette towards you the neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away on the back of the cassette you've got a green pressure relief button so you can tip the waste away when the cassette is full the idea of the green button is so it doesn't spit and splatter back at you while you are tipping it away. Then have your two fridge vents. The two fridge vents are very simple there to allow hot air at the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. And behind one of these you'll also find the gas flue for when you're in the fridge on the gas. Inside the van you'll also find a three pin socket so if you want power out to your awning for instance you can have power connected uh, to your awning via the connection on the side of the van. Lastly, you wind down legs, and then you've got your barbecue gas point at the front also. I'm going to take you inside the caravan now and demonstrate how the inside works. So as you can see on the outside, we've already got power connected to the van. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to the master control panel and turn on the master power switch as it is at the moment. So you've got off and on for the master power. Next to that, you've got your 12 volt battery level. As you can see, 13.5 volts in that particular ba battery. Water pump run, I'll come back to in a second. To fill the water system on board the caravan, you get to come to every tap on board the caravan and they'll open them up completely on the hot side of the water system. So you can open them all the way up on the hot side and come underneath the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan. And in here, you will find, you may not be able to see it very well in the video, but there is a yellow valve on the floor that you can see just above that wiring. That yellow valve needs to be parallel with the floor prior to filling the water system up. And when you want to drain the water system down when you're done using the caravan for the weekend or your holiday, you put that valve upright and towards the bottom of the seats, so all the water drains out of the system. With your aqua roll connected on the outside and that yellow valve parallel with the floor and all the taps open on the hot side, you can come over to your water pump switch and turn the water pump on. 
At that point, it will start drawing water from the aqua roll on the outside of the caravan into the van. When the water system is completely full, you'll have water running out of con continuously out of every tap on board the caravan. Once you've got water running continuously, you can shut all of the taps back off and you can start thinking about warming the water on board the van. So, on this particular van, we have two switches just down below the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan. And you can turn on the ultra store, which is your water store, on electric. And when the orange light comes on, that means that the water heater is on and it's working as it should. The ultra heat switch to the right of that is so you can turn on the electric heating, so you need to have that on before the electric heating will operate. If you want to warm the water on gas on board the caravan, you can also do that. And on the far side of the caravan, next to the master power switch, you'll find two more dials. As you can see, ultra store again, which is your water store. To get the water system to ignite on gas, you turn the gas bottle on in the front locker. Turn the outer silver dial to the flame symbol, and the green light indicates a pilot light. However, you do need to keep an eye on it because it may potentially fail to ignite and it will come up with a red light as it has just done now. There's no gas bottle on the caravan at the moment, hence why it's failed to ignite. But if it does ignite and it stays on the green light, you can control the water temperature on gas between 30 and 70 degrees of temperature. To isolate the gas supply, you'll put it back to the off position just here. To the right hand side of that gas control, uh, to the left hand side, sorry, of that gas control, you'll actually find your heating options for the electric heating on board the caravan. Now down the side here you'll see it has 500, 1000 or 2000 watts. And what that relates to is the amount of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. Best way to find out how much power you can run for your heating and hot water systems is to ask the site office when you arrive on your holiday. Here on site we can run 500 watts, so we're going to select 500 watts. And then we can control the temperature of the heater on electric on this dial in the center between one and nine. If the ultra heat switch below the, sw below the seat was turned off, then it'd actually isolate the power to the electric heating and you would have no electric heating coming on. You can also run the heating on board the caravan on gas. So on the right hand side top of the uh, heater, you've got a gas dial here. You can spin the gas dial around between 10 and nine, hold down the gas valve and hit the igniter. You'd hold down the gas valve for five to 10 seconds once it has ignited and it is running on gas. In this little window down the front is where you'd find the pilot light to see if it has ignited. Once it has ignited and it's been running for five to 10 seconds, you can slowly release the gas valve and control the temperature of the heater on the dial on top. To turn off the gas supply, you'll spin it back to the zero position and that will isolate all gas to the heater. On the left hand side top of the heater, you'll actually find your controls for the blown air heating. So around the caravan, you'll find the little white circles with a flap in the center. That is your blown air heating vents. To operate these, you have this dial just here for the fan speed. And then below it, you have a switch where it has three different options. You have continuous blown air, heat coming out the front of the heater, and the A on the right hand side is ambient or automatic blown air. So essentially it will cut in and out with the thermostat on board the van. But if you want it continuously blowing, and you can use this as a cold air fan, it's not air conditioning, but it is a cold air fan. You can select the wave symbol and that will continuously blow cool air around the caravan. Behind me we have the fridge. Now again, this is very simple to use to operate the fridge on gas. You'll spin the dial to the gas symbol. Press in the temperature valve on the right hand side and you'll continue to hold that in while you press the igniter. Once the fridge is ignited, this little red line in this window here will come around to the green. And once that red line is in the window, in that green section, sorry, you'll continue to hold the gas valve for five to 10 seconds, then slowly release the valve. On gas or mains, you can control the temperature of the fridge on the dial on the right hand side. To operate the fridge on mains, you very simply spin the dial to the mains plug at the top here, and that is the mains fridge operation. Also, when you're towing down the road, you can use the fridge as a cool box. So you'd select the 12 volt mode, and what that 12 volt mode means is the 12 volt supply from the car you are towing with, not the caravan itself. So it essentially only operate as you are towing down the road. 
And like I said, it is only a cool box, so it won't completely chill or freeze the freezer compartment. Turn the fridge off, you'll spin the dial round to the off position, and that will be the fridge isolated. Hob, grill and oven all work very much like your household appliances. You do need to make sure the gas is turned on in the front locker again for those to operate. But you'll ignite it with the igniter on the front, um, very much the same way as what you'd use your household oven, hob, oven and grill. In the bathroom, you have your toilet system. The, sh uh, the sink actually folds down from the top there, as you can see, so you just need to pull that down to operate the sink. On the side of the toilet, you have your toilet waste flap, so you open up the toilet waste flap before using the loo, which allows the waste to go into the cassette. And then you have the blue flush button here that allows the toilet to flush. You'll also have a red light here that indicates when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. So that is the Luna Stella 400. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect a caravan. Thank you for now. Bye bye.